When President Trump nominated Jeff Sessions, I was concerned, but I stayed silent. I won't stay silent now. A little while ago, President Trump had his own reservations about Judge Kavanaugh, which I shared. I share them still. Indeed, the president only seemed to pick Kavanaugh because he was told that Kavanaugh would be the easiest to confirm. Eventually, the politics of this moment will subside, as they did around Sessions, too. But unlike Sessions, who might not even be in office on November 7th of this year, whoever gets confirmed to the Supreme Court will all but certainly be there for decades. Further, it's no surprise to me that a Bush family appointee from the Ivy League has some skeletons in his closet. No surprise at all. So what I worry about in regards to Kavanaugh, in addition to the unverified sexual assault allegations, is can Kavanaugh be blackmailed, and if so, by whom? Even if the sexual assault allegations against Kavanaugh are false, which they may be, then the answer to the question, is Kavanaugh vulnerable to blackmail, is still yes. And with Election Day fast approaching, it is an unfortunate but definite political reality that Kavanaugh is hurting the GOP. In terms of politics, this isn't about how we feel about Kavanaugh or Blasey Ford or the allegations. It's about Election Day, and the Democrats are loving this. Now, as a justice, there's nothing unique about Brett Kavanaugh. Surely President Trump would find another candidate who would rule nearly identically on all the important matters. But to the Democrats, Judge Kavanaugh represents a unique opportunity to solidify their base and continue their march for the U.S. Senate and the House of Representatives. It's not hard to imagine the rallies that Democrats will hold and the attack ads they will put out if Kavanaugh is confirmed. The sooner Kavanaugh's nomination is rescinded and he is replaced, the better.